and next cat software training let's see the quick intro about uh, how to select the planes actually suppose uh, uh, most of the people will have a issue on selection of the plane one thing and uh, the view orientation so the component whatever we are going to draw it should be in line to the requirement actually so most of the people what they do is in the beginning level so the selection of the plane they will do in a reverse side so that the sketch will become reverse so it will rotate and come to the inappropriate direction so that is not the right way of doing any modeling so most of the people does the mistakes on this area so that only this topic i wanted to cover separately this is a short tutorial which will help you to understand only about the sketch selection and the plane selection and the direction let's see about sketches in the sketch the as we seen in the earlier class uh, there are two options one is called a direct sketch and another one is called sketch in task environment so when we walk in the company or any industries actually we will go with sketch in task environment so always prefer to use sketch in task environment do not use direct sketches this direct sketch option will be used only for the uh, place where you have a parasolid file or else some files you have brought from the some other software and uh, you have supposed to create the um, sketches on that particular model means that time only will go for direct sketches otherwise we will prefer to go always with the sketch in task environment only so always use sketch in task environment when you are creating any of the sketches right so let's get into the topic now so in the sketch in task environment we have you supposed to choose the plane which one you are going in which direction you are going to draw either this is the front view this is the right side view or else when you are looking at from the behind it is left side view and this is the top view so the view which is on the plane which is present here this is the top view okay so right so now when we are about to create any plane we have some confusions means at that time you no need to panic or worry so the easiest way to select the plane i will tell you so before you get into this sketch in task environment what you can do is always now i will cancel this button so you wanted to draw the sketch in the front plane means always prefer to use always x and z plane so this x and z creates this plane so this plane is always a front plane and y and z this plane the cursor where i have placed this plane is called as a right side plane the right side or else it's a left side plane as well now so the plane which is present in x and y this is called as a top plane or else in the bottom plane so this depends on the plane what we select accordingly the sketch will get created now whenever i wanted to go for any front plane means i need to choose this x and z planes only so you have to choose this plane always suppose still you have a confusion means you no need to worry so as i said earlier always go for the replace view go for the front plane so in the front plane you wanted to draw means if this is a front plane now you go for the sketch in task environment select the plane which is visible for you now so i wanted to create the plane in the front plane means select this plane as it is and then just rotate it you can see now the plane in which direction it presents otherwise you can do the plane selection in other way also that's what we are going to see now so now i am going to the sketch in task environment insert sketch in task environment choose the plane which one you wanted to draw so x and z is the front plane so i am choosing this plane here you can see the one new coordinates has got created now x y and z which is different from the existing plane actually yes it will be a different one because of based on our sketch what we select accordingly a new axis will be shown so that means what it conveys is so this x is this direction y is this direction z is this direction right it conveys so whatever the plane you select accordingly this coordinate system will show to you here the x direction represents the horizontal axis and the y direction represents the vertical axis here the z direction represents the perpendicularity of the plane so hence always we should prefer in this manner so that suppose if you are reversing the same this um, z axis means the x axis will remain the same but y axis will come in the opposite side that means the plus y axis will become minus y axis so that the plane will get rotated 
so there will be a summer salt on the planes so always the sketches whatever we create when you do for any edit or else when you double click on the sketch for any editing purpose the sketches should not rotate inappropriately so it should should come perpendicular to our plane so that is the preferred one so make sure that you are always your z axis is towards to you so that you can make sure that the sketch is 100% correct and it will not do somersault so now the z direction is towards us means actually the plane will rest like this so whatever you draw it will come in this direction only for example i am creating one rectangle here now i have created a rectangle so it got created now like this now i wanted to see in the model view how it will look like means you no need to worry it's just to make a right click go to orient view to model so you can see here this is how it will look like suppose you are coming out of this sketch and you are creating some you are double clicking again see the orientation comes exactly to your orientation what you want correct right suppose i am deleting this sketch i am creating the same sketch with reference to the different direction for example i am selecting the same plane the z direction not towards to me it is in the opposite direction like you think of so i'm just double clicking on this now you can see that x is here y is here the plane is the same the same plane got selected but the z direction got reversed here the x direction represents the horizontal axis and the y direction represents the vertical axis the plane will come in the reverse way see you can see that there is a somersault that happened in the sketches so now i am creating a plane means now i am creating a sketch same rectangle similar rectangle i am creating coming out of the sketch you can see the difference now see you got the sketch in this plane in the same plane only the sketch is present but at the same time it is in the reverse side so if you double click it again the sketch will become it will do it will rotate and it will come and rest exactly to the face for particularity but this is not the right one so whenever you are selecting any plane you have to choose always the plane to be perpendicular the z plane to be perpendicular to the xyz plane so that means the z plane should be always towards us so that only the sketch may not do any rotation okay hope you understand next class Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel and those who are not subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you.